Yo, what's up everyone? Kiro's here and today we're going to do our food crafting guide. Now it's going to have many different steps to this. So hit the chapters down below from a general food guide to some big tips I'm going to front load you with. And then my top four favorite foods with farming routes if they do have them. And yes, there is going to be... Uh, excuse, excuse me, uh, uh, Kyrios, if you had to tell one thing to our future generation, what would it be? <laughs> Yikes. Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get started. All right, crafting is pretty straightforward, or at least food crafting is. It requires going to one of these tin cans, aka a rice cooker, aka I have no idea why this thing has four legs. But you're going to go to one of these vendors. It's going to have a whole bunch of question marks there. You're going to have to discover any recipe by going to the discover button down below and then putting materials in to try and learn recipes. When you're trying to learn recipes, you have to put in at least 15 materials. Now, you technically don't need to do that, but if you get the 15 materials, it'll give you 100% success rate to try and learn a recipe. Now, you can't just shove anything you want in there. Spoiler alert, a big tip coming in. Um, you're still going to need to use a lot of the raw materials to make the, the recipe. Now, we do have this website, towerfantasy.info. You can jump over there. It has all the recipes over there, but I'm going to give you the biggest tip. So say you were making a item like ice strawberry soda, which requires two strawberry, two honey, and one water. Now you could use strawberry, you could use honey, but that is that just takes a lot more raw materials that you have to go farm. Or you could just dump a whole bunch of water in there. And I'm not even kidding. You could do this for every single recipe. Steamed egg, just dump water in there, right? Once you have the right materials in there, just dump a whole bunch of water. And since you could buy 99 water a day, from the vendor in the second area it's the best way to do it in all honesty all right second best tip now if you are farming especially on launch day there's gonna be a lot of people and by the way you might show up to a vine that's already been drained and that's not your own personal uh doing that's because it's a shared world so if you are planning to go on a farm spree like in this guide i highly suggest you change the channel number to the highest number possible because that's probably not going to have as many people in it so you'll have to just play around with how high the numbers go in each area but like i would just go to the highest because it always loads from lowest to highest so if you want to do some farming by yourself you change that channel number All right, tip number three is pretty straightforward and i'm not going to reference it in this guide i don't really have a route for it i guess i could have made a route but i'm not going to honey 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 you're going to pass by honey coves all the time you will see me in my gameplay in all my videos in my live streams i will stop for honey all the time because you can use honey in a lot of other good recipes funny enough not any of the recipes really that i'm using here but you definitely need a lot of honey so make sure you stop you get it you move on all right i'm gonna start you guys with my favorite recipe that i still even use today because it's easy to make the balloon fruit salad now this thing's a breeze to make it takes two balloons two tomatoes and one salad dressing which you can get the salad dressing from the vendor that you see on screen behind it and it's just easy peasy to make also that farm route is on the first island and we'll get to that in just a second now for this recipe, I just shoved a whole bunch of salad dressing in there because you could buy that the same as water from the vendor and then just put as many balloons and tomatoes as you feel comfortable. And once you do that, you will have learned the recipe and you will use this for a long time because it heals for a ton. Now, remember when I said I have a farming route for you? Well, here it is. The leaves are balloons and arrows are tomatoes. So we're going to do a feed collection montage.
All right, next up on the list, we do have a DPS favorite, the Fire Dragon Fruit Tea. Now, this thing is super easy to make with only requiring two Fire Dragon Fruit and two Honey. Gives you, uh, gives you Fire Attack and Fire Attack percentage for 900 seconds. A great food to your DPS arsenal, especially if you have King. Now we're going to do the water trick here. Now you can see I added four dragon fruit and four honey. Why not? But we're going to use that uh, water trick in order to learn the recipe. Funny enough, I think I already knew the recipe when I made this. But uh, it still got us the same results with the same item. Now don't you worry. Papa Kiri's got you on the farming route for those dragon fruit. Here you can find the above. There's the coordinates in the top right hand corner. And it's going to require you to teleport essentially to the same teleporter two or three times. Kind of an awkward route, but once you get it down, it's a good place to farm. All right, just in case you need more healing items, we have the steamed egg with sea urchin. Mm -mm -mm. Now this morsel requires two sea urchins and two poultry eggs. Now the reason this is really on the list is because you're just going to pick up a ton of these. And uh, just in case you don't want to farm the other ones, you're probably just going to be sitting on these materials. Once again, all you got to do is throw them in there, throw a lot of water in there. And uh, you're off to the races for learning that recipe. Now, no farming route for this one, but uh, the sea urchins very easy to find. You can find them on any beach, and there is a ton of beaches. Just uh, find some water and then just drive along the coast, and you will find a ton of those. Then for eggs, you will find a ton of those as well. They're anywhere elevated on top of buildings, on top of uh, anything elevated. I can't think of other words for elevation right now. All right, and then finally, the fan favorite, the one you have been waiting for, the king of all kings, Nut Tea. Now, Nut Tea is pretty easy to make. It only requires one hazelnut, two pine cones, and two honey. Now, you won't be able to get those pine cones and hazelnut until later on in your career due to the radiation and it being in the last zone. Now, we're going to do our trick once again. One hazelnut, two pine cones, some honey and a whole lot of water. All right, let's tackle the pine cones first. My favorite farming spot is at this teleporter in the tundra. Now, what I love about this is that all you have to do is find a whole bunch of trees and just spam F or your collect key all around those trees, and you're just going to pick up a ton of them. Very easy peasy. Doesn't need its own map. Now, this one doesn't really need the map either. There's only four locations these hazelnuts drop from, so uh, I'm just going to go pick them up real quick. I hope you enjoy.
Oof. Oof. All right, that's all we've got. I hope you guys enjoyed the food guide. Let me know in the comments down below. Did that help you out? Uh, what other guides are you looking for? I've, I could do a ton of other things. Just let me know in the comments down below. I will see you guys out in Ada. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Fist bump from me to you.